Greetings and welcome to the Introduction to Astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 15th of 2023, well, it is titled M15, Dense Globular Star Cluster. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of, more than one, of one of the more than 150 globular star clusters that orbit about our Milky Way. Now, there were far more than that in the past as they come in close to our Milky Way over time, over billions of years. Eventually, they will get torn apart and just become incorporated into our own galaxy. But these are some of the very earliest remnants of our galaxy dating back to its earliest times and the very early history of the universe. In fact, globular clusters such as this one can be 13 billion years old. So some of the very first things to form after the galaxies began to form and after the Big Bang. So these are very early relics of the very early history of the universe and give us a little bit of insight into what may have been going on in that time. Now, here we see it as a glob of stars. Now, in a globular star cluster, all of the stars formed at essentially the same time, that 13 billion years ago, and they've since been going through their lives. Now, what we see left are just the smaller stars. Any star that lives less than 13 billion years would already be gone. We would no longer see that type of star here. However, when we, what we do see is stars that live for a longer time. Now, our own sun lives for about 10 billion years, so any sun-like stars here would already have gone through their lives and evolved and be dead, be left behind as white dwarf stars. And that would be all that would be left of them. So the stars we're seeing are a mixture of red giant stars, evolved stars that were less massive than our sun. And that's primarily what we see. And then some of the fainter stars we would see as well, stars that are still on the main sequence, still going through their lives. And because they are much smaller, they go through their fuel at a much slower rate and can still be present today. So here we can see uh, this globular cluster which again is just a big ball of stars. They are gravitationally bound together, so there's enough matter there to be able to hold them together for that extended period of time. And that differentiates them from the open star clusters that we often look at. And those open clusters do not have enough mass to hold them together, so they will eventually spread apart. But these galaxies will remain, these, these star clusters will remain together forever. And we also see, based on more recent measurements, that there is a black hole at the center of this cluster. Now, that's very common in galaxies and appears it could be common within the dense centers of globular clusters as well. Now, the other thing that we see here is the evolved state of a star. If you look down below the globular cluster, you'll see a small fuzzy object. That's actually a planetary nebula. That's what happens to stars like our own sun, generally low mass stars, when they expel their mater material, their outer layers, at the end of their lives. So we see not only the planetary nebula, but also the globular cluster, rating back to the very early history of our universe. So that was our picture of the day for June 15th of 2023. It was titled M15, Dense Globular Star Cluster. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, preview to be when time lapses. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.